Hi, this is Waikiki Tim, and this is how I do fractionators. As you can see, the fractionators are in a ring, and they are around the South Pole uh, in this situation. I have 30 fractionators, and along with the f uh, for each fractionator, I have a storage tank in front of it. There's four rings. Uh, the fractionators, deuterium, hydrogen, and deuterium again. Uh, the two inner rings are raised to level by the splitters. So when the deuterium comes out of the fractionator, it goes through the splitter, uh, then uh, goes to the storage tank, and from the storage tank it goes to this outer ground level deuterium which goes all the way around, comes back here, and goes into the logistics station. Uh, over here, this one will usually back up first, the, the storage tank. So when it backs up, uh, the fraction error doesn't back up. The splitter will send the deuterium uh, along this inner deuterium ring, this raised level ring. So the fractionator never backs up until the very last storage tank in this system fills up. Right now I have no demand on the system because I've turned the, uh, the logistics, logistics station off so that it's just doing storage. And once I turn it on, the system will take a little bit and it'll stutter for a little bit, but then it will start working again. Or at least for a little while until the demand decreases. Let me just take a walk around and I have it backed up on purpose just to show you that it even though it is backed up it will restart itself once there's a demand on it. Okay, and I wasn't paying attention, but one of these has caused the deuterium to stop. Anyway, let me turn this back on so that there's a demand. So I'm going to say local supply. Okay, right away you can see that the deuterium here has started flowing, as well as this ring. And once it empties out some of these tanks and the deuterium can flow, looks like this one was... Oh, oh. never mind. And it looks like we'll have to wait until the drones get back. Anyway, it will sit here and just kind of cycle, okay? They come back, and so they'll be taking more. Let's see if anything's happened back here. Actually, there's a low demand on my system. I don't use that much deuterium. So. If everything's backed up, but you still want to store more, all you have to do is add another layer of storage tanks. Actually, you can just add one and it will start the system up again. Okay, so now we've got deuterium flowing into this tank. And you can see it's starting to, to stutter here. And now it's flowing. And it will continue to flow until this tank fills up. Uh, so you, uh, with me, I've got eight levels unlocked, so I can stack each one up to eight levels, giving me a 2.4 million unit storage of deuterium. 2.5 if you count the logistics stations. And I like the system because it just works. It, uh, there's no backups. There's a maximum amount of hydrogen flowing through these at all times because anytime 
there's a, uh, a gap in here, then it'll get fed from one of the spokes in between. So if this hydrogen line stays stays full all the time. So I get a maximum output of deuterium. Now this is probably the, the third design that I've tried to get this working. And so I, since I didn't want to, uh, to let the thing just sit idle, I created a reservoir for deuterium and hydrogen. And a couple other things. Um, oh, this is the hydrogen, which it rarely has anything in it. The deuterium consists of Five, yeah, five rows, five by five, so it's 25 uh, rows of eight, so basically eight times 25, and this has a storage capacity of two billion, plus the logistics stations. Uh, so this is where this is where uh, basically everything is. Uh, all the deuterium comes to first, and then it comes. This distributes it to uh, the rest of the, the planet that needs it. Now the hydrogen coming in is handled through this. So the hydrogen at the fractionator ring is supplied by this uh, logistics station. And you can see there's a little bit of hydrogen here and it's backed up. Now it's going through. Um, whenever this empties out, and it usually does, I've had it off for a while so it's uh, backed up some. If it runs out, then it will get hydrogen from this logistics station. And this one has a, a, a remote demand on it because it's getting hydrogen from my 40 orbital collectors around the uh, the gas giant of this planet and so it is continuously generating more hydrogen than I should ever need and but the precedence as you can see since it's coming in from the side it will use up the uh, the local supply before it goes to the the gas giant Way. So this is how I do uh, fractionators. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, if you hate it, you love it, do you think it's funny, uh, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.